Uh, hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Que Rica TV. I've been doing a lot of reflecting and a lot of reevaluating. One of the things that I've realized that I really needed to focus on this year, 2017, was redefining what my purpose is. Um, I'm gonna keep it real. I always talk about like living rich and recognizing your blessings, but in all actuality, this year has been really tough for me to do that sometimes because of, um, I guess, my financial situation um, and also just thinking about goals and aspirations and where I am now. Uh, if you've read my blog, then you've probably seen my birthday post, which was uh, about my Dirty 30 pity party, <laughs> because at one point this year, I kind of really did have somewhat of a, I don't want to say pitiful perspective, but um, I just wasn't feeling my best, especially in this social media age when you're looking at everybody else. You feel like you should be accomplishing so much and you want to keep up with everybody else, but everybody's journey is different. In the past two years since being a mother, I definitely had to slow down my hustle some and just reevaluate a lot of things, but the most important being my purpose. What am I here for? What am I doing? Who am I doing it for? And um, how can I take the talents that I've been blessed with and utilize them to God's glory? Because one thing that I've come to recognize and learn this year is that at the end of the day, everything that I do should give glory to God. I kind of had to really like go through it, sit in the discomfort of it for a little bit and just really allow myself to get to that place so that I could come to a point of surrender where I recognize, hey, Erica, you've been trying to do all of these things by yourself and you've been trying so hard to make certain things happen. Um, and some things just haven't happened yet. And that's not to say that they won't happen at this time, but they'll happen in God's time. Because as a child of God, I really do believe in the promises that are in the Bible. And I know that they're for me. Those things were written for me. They were written for my family um, and everybody who believes in Christ Jesus. So um, as I patiently wait on those blessings and things to materialize, at the end of the day, I've always been taken care of. No matter how tough things have gotten for me financially as an entrepreneur or as um, a stay-at-home mom, uh, I thank God for my husband and his support, NicholasUbomb.com. Um, but I recognize that I am needing to go through this path in order to sur get to the point of surrender um, because that's like one of the hardest things you know we can do especially in this day and age where you want to be going 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 sometimes you really just need to sit back and throw your hands up and say lord like lead me and that's kind of where i am leaving 2017. so i really decided to focus my theme of 2018 on the bible verse ephesians 3:20, which says now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than we can ask or imagine according to his power that is at work within us um and 2018 is f for me going to be a year and i'm claiming this and declaring this because there's power in declarations that 2018 will be the year of immeasurably more than I could ask or imagine because I am trusting um, and leading my life spiritually first and then letting everything else come second. Head over to the blog adventures of a live rich and um, hit the post entitled my 2018 vision or my vision for 2018. It kind of like lays everything out there. Anyway, let's get to goals and resolutions, I guess. My top five goals are, one, reading the Bible straight through, seeking out God's plan and purpose for me in my life. I've definitely come to appreciate the word more as like the living word. It's almost as though God is speaking to me directly. Um, like I ask a question, I cry onto him, I throw my hands up, and then boom, I open the book and 
there goes an answer or there goes a word of encouragement. But with that said, I feel like when things like that happen or when I read and I get little bits and pieces, I feel like I'm kind of not getting the full picture. On a comprehensive level, the best way to probably do this and understand this is to read the Bible fully through. So I understand everything that happened, why, who's related to who, and sometimes that's not the most exciting, but um, it's all important. Another one, is to lose all my baby weight. I know it's probably crazy. We're expecting number two in February, and so far I haven't gained as much weight as I did during Aria's pregnancy because if you guys have been following, you know that I gained 70 pounds during my first pregnancy. Though I was able to lose a lot. I think I lost about 50 or 55 pounds or something before I found out that I was pregnant again, and I was like, oh. But so far, I haven't gained another 70. Um, I've actually only gained 30. I'm staying positive and hoping that this time around, I'll be able to lose all of it by the end of this year, getting me back to my pre-pregnancy weight of 135, um, or a healthy weight that I'm happy with and satisfied with how I look. Another major goal of mine is to, and this is a real, real stretch for me, given how I'm ending 2017, it would almost be, it would be nothing short of a miracle. Like, <laughs> God would have done all of this. Um, but the goal is to make at least $50,000 this year outside of like a, a traditional job. I don't want to say real job because this is all work. <laughs> But outside of a traditional nine to five, that would be awesome. Heavenly Father, make it happen. I know you will. Thank you. For a really long time now, I've been doing these things out of sheer fun or just because it's something that I enjoy. But um, now that we're having multiple children and life is a happening and I'm a getting older, uh, it would be really nice to start actually making money off of these things. So if you like all of my Kirika by Erica Lasan goodies, um, i.e. this necklace, which is a new Kirika jewelry piece and will be found on the site in 2018 along with some other goodies. Um, please head over to KirikaLiveRich.com, purchase a piece, share the site with somebody who loves jewelry made with love. If you know a Live Rich mommy or daddy who's down to be a part of the live rich community share the blog with them or if you just know someone who wants to watch some fun videos um of a live rich mommy with her babies <laughs> along with her live rich hubby then please share the channel and ask someone to subscribe the fourth goal of mine is to travel more I studied international business because I wanted to travel for work before I realized that traveling all the time can be quite exhausting. <laughs> um, and at this point in my life, with multiple children and a husband, it would definitely be more exhausting. Um, but I still enjoy doing it every once in a while. And this year, I'd like to travel at least twice. One, definitely um, an international trip hopefully with the hubby, um, and then a family trip. And what is a fifth goal that I should share with you guys? Hmm. I feel like I really want to sacrifice a little bit more of myself. So I want to volunteer a little bit more um, and just serve others. One more goal I'd like to share with you guys, I know I'm going on six, uh, but I'll make it really quick, is to be more consistent. That's one of the steps that I know that I have to take um, in order to accomplish a lot of these goals this year. So one, I don't get overwhelmed with all of the things that I want to write or record or whatever the situation is. And two, so that I don't get depressed because uh, one thing that I've learned is that when I'm not creating, I am not in my happiest place. So. 2018 is the year of not allowing that to happen and it's gonna take all of God's grace in order to make that happen y'all because Lord knows that if left to me on my own it probably will not happen so please hold me accountable so anyway I know this video is kind of long and I hope it doesn't come off as rambling but uh, that's just kind of some of the stuff that's been on my heart and some of the things that have been in my mind leave a comment below sharing what some of your goals for 2018 are um, along with what your theme or your vision for the year is like it share it subscribe to the channel and mm, until later hope you all have a wonderful new year's day 
and that year 2017 ends with a bang. Live rich and happy dream chasing. Bye. If you like this video, hit that little circle with my face in it to subscribe to the channel. Thank you.